because people see the city as a city of sin, but the Lord sees the city as a city of mercy, a city where revival will come. And we've been living in Thailand for the last 12 years um, in the city of Pattaya. Pattaya is the sixth capital of the world and um, not only is there um, prostitution but also there's a lot of um, human trafficking in, in, in the city. So initially when we got to the city we thought that the Lord had brought us because of my husband's job but the Lord had a different purpose and the purpose he had for us to come to this nation is to tell people about Jesus that had never heard about Jesus. Um, through the years the Lord's been confirming that the reason we are here is actually to equip Thai people to reach their own people. For different seasons we have done different things like evangelizing to the, to the girls in the bars. The thing that the Lord is, is using us most in is in the house of prayer. So we've opened a house of prayer that is in the red light district. It's on the, the top floor of, of one of the buildings and um, the house of prayer is for all denominations, for any ministry that just wants to come and intercede and stand in the gap for the city and for this nation. The Lord has been doing amazing things. Twelve years ago when we got here, uh, there was all we could see was every single establishment was a bar, a bar, a bar, a bar. Um, there was no coffee shops, um, very little other commerce, everything was just um, rotating around the, the sexual tourism. Um, we started praying, street walking and really prayer walking the streets and especially one area we, we prayer walked it for a year. Every Tuesday and every Thursday night we prayer walked it. After a year of stopping to prayer walk it, we went back and there was like a bar but then there was a coffee shop, then there was a pharmacy, um, there was a lady that used to repair clothes and so the Lord has been changing things like that. Um, when we initially got here, you wouldn't see a family walking down the road. It would just be old men with young girls or young boys. Now you see families walking in the street. So even though we still look at Patia and it's a little bit overwhelming, uh, we can see how God is transforming the city. And we know that all of it has got to do because there have been people that have been willing to spend time praying for the city, praying for this nation, praying for transformation, and the transformation is happening right now. Because people see the city as a city of sin, but the Lord sees the city as a city of mercy, a city where revival will come. And through this city, the whole of the nation of Thailand will be impacted. And I truly believe that not only Thailand, but the whole of Asia will want to come to this city and see and we're believing for the house of prayer to become a 24 7 house of prayer to get other ministries involved um, other nations involved we need your help we need your praise especially your praise with your praise join with us we can reach the goal is to save not only thailand but the world for christ